Hello, Daddy and Mommy. I am finally getting married today. After taking care of me for the past 33 years, I would like to say a few words to you. This is my father, William. As you all can see, this is where I inherited my head full of white hair from. Ever since I was young, he is a man of a few words. He rarely or almost never had any lengthy conversations, but he is always silently there. Daddy, today I just want to say thank you for everything you have provided me with. Thank you for being the father you are to me. Back when I was a little boy, I remember how you will spoil me with everything I want. From the latest Ericsson phones, to $300 Nike shoes, to the newest Sega and Nintendo gaming sets. You will always find ways and means to get them for me. Thinking back, I am not sure if it's the best way to bring up a child, but I do know that you did it out of your love for your children. Ever since I started working, I know that it is not easy how you and Mummy work hard to provide for Jeremy and me. From ferrying me everywhere in the past, and now, once in a while, still offering to send and pick me up from airports when I travel. My growing up journey with my dad wasn't exactly the smoothest. As they say, everyone has their downtime, but most importantly, it is not to give up but to get better. This includes my dad who was put in a financially difficult situation at one point, but the family stayed together and we all overcame all odds. Because of this, I had to resign from my stable banking job to join the financial services industry at Advisors Club. And this is the place where I met Yen Ling. He is all the best anyone can ask for as a father, but definitely room for improvement. I promise I will spend more time and have more conversations with you from now on. This is my brother Jeremy. He is 31 years old this year, although he looks like he just turned 20. He looks very shy, but he is always very friendly. When we are around family and friends, he is always the one who is so busy with everything and helping to do anything. Ever since who knows when, whenever people see us together, no one will never believe he is my brother. As my parents like to say, either of us is picked up from the rubbish bin. Your working career has not been the smoothest sailing all these years, but you excel in many ways like speaking and writing fluent Japanese, teaching and guiding many young people in the temple. You have what it takes and you have to build up that confidence and you will definitely do better. Your contribution to the family is always very much appreciated. Especially, I am always out and not home so often. You are the person that cooks lunch and dinner for mommy and daddy. And yes, your cooking is pretty decent. Quick word of advice. Once in a while, you do resemble both our parents. Your temper can be very bad sometimes. Do remember and keep it cool. Screaming and shouting doesn't get things done. Mommy, you always are the family of our family. 努力工作赚钱养家，无微不至的照顾家里的三个男人，还有很多时候在佛堂为我们祈祷。从小你就教我，做人要节俭，要知足。我想我应该听错了，因为我都做倒反了。谢谢你所为这个家庭做的一切，你无微不至的照顾与疼爱。从我出生时的那一刻。我就让你辛苦了，让你在医院里四十多个小时，才把我生出来，真的辛苦你了。从小，你和爹爹都在工作，了不起的是，你会在六点十五分到家，六点四十五分就把全家的饭煮好了。在过去的三十多年，你从来没有埋怨过，在同样一个公司做同样一份工作，就是为了照顾家庭。直到你最近终于退休了，可以好好休息了。你从不在自己身上花太多钱，都是为了家庭着想，担心家里够不够钱用，身体和精神都劳累许多了。这就是为什么每个人都说世上只有妈妈好。我终于理解了这一点。经过多年的担忧，我今天终于结婚了。
现在你可以让燕灵操心。You can rest and relax and worry lesser now. 我仍然会带你出去吃饭。有时如果我太忙忘记了，随时都可以打电话给我。我们还是可以去吃不同的素食料理。虽然对我来说，全部的味道都是一样的。我想我从来没有对你这么说过，妈咪，我爱你。Can you recognize this little ugly duckling beside me? Yes, I'm the cuter one. But that didn't last long. Everyone tells me that my sister is very, very pretty, and yes, I agree. She is beautiful both on the inside and the outside. Fern, thank you for being the sweetest sister one can have. Thank you for caring for me and attending to my demands like as if you are the elder sister sometimes. Thank you for being someone I can go to. Whenever I need an honest opinion or just to rant, there are so many precious moments we both shared. I really don't know where to start. From times like us playing R O C K rock because we cannot sleep, to making pavlova from shower foam, to us adopting each other when our boyfriends are busy, and the time spent together on my wedding prep, I am so grateful for you. Now that I'm married, and you will too very soon, it will not distance us. But I foresee us making new memories together with Billy, Keith, Bell, our future kids and family. My brother, like my sister, stole all the good-looking jeans. But one of my friends commented, "At least they left more of the fast twitch muscles for me." Coco, since young, you have been a very giving brother to me and Yevon. Even though Papa was stricter to you than us, it didn't matter to you. I remember during our meals together. You always had to give up both the drumsticks and both crab spinner to your two sisters, and you did so willingly. Even until now, you are so generous to us. When Dad passed away, you took charge of the household. You took charge of the finances without hesitation. You never demanded for me to contribute much, nor needed for me to provide for anything. All you wanted was actually just for me to know what I want, to be able to stand up for myself. To read and learn more, so that I can be self-reliant. I am so thankful to have you as my elder brother, someone I can go to when I need advice, someone who is ambitious yet down to earth and never saw the need to be extravagant, someone who is strict on your values, someone who I will look up to always. I love you, Shuwen and Ian, and of course, not forgetting the very important lady who brought the three of us up, Mummy. Thank you for making sure I had a fulfilling and complete childhood. You made sure that my weekends were packed with extra curriculum activities, and on a day when I had no classes, you would bring all of us shopping for many, many hours. And at the end of the day, I remember getting grumpy and tired every single time. You loved to throw parties for us. You would sign me up for different dance events. Until today, you would encourage me to take part in all the public marathon races. While Dad took care of the household necessities, you made sure that we had more than what we wanted. Not only in the material things you gave us, but more importantly, moments and experiences which I will treasure for life. You were always there at most of my track and field competitions, and every time I went overseas, you and Dad will always be there to send me off and welcome me home, like my greatest cheerleaders. Thank you for being so involved in my childhood, for being a huge part of my decision-making processes. And seeing me through my joy and tears, as I grew up until now, I remember the times when I get rude and impatient with you. Yet you always gave in to me, Mummy. Sorry for all the times you have to bear with this daughter of yours. Sorry for all the times you have to worry for me because I am back late or when I have no work appointments, or maybe just because you are a kanchong spider. Now that I'm getting married, you have another son to worry for. But please do not do that because you will grow old very quickly. Billy will take care of me, and the both of us will take care of you. I love you. My dad may not be here with us today, but he is always on my mind and in our hearts. So my dad was the disciplinarian of our home. Nobody really tries to go against him. Dad is so strict, 
that even hearing the sound of the gates opening and then his car engine, I would start to feel sian that he is home. There was this one time, he made me finish my vegetables until I was eating and crying at the same time. If you knew him, he would have once screamed or reprimanded you before, and that is so normal to all of us. But that has a heart of gold, and everyone knows that too. He loves me, he loves our family, through his consistent actions day after day, year after year. He starts his morning by bringing Ama for breakfast every day without fail. And then he will always buy the same pack of bee soup for me, which I never got sick of. He also sends me around whenever I need to go for my early trainings or competitions. Papa, thank you for loving us with all your heart, for protecting me fiercely, and providing the best you can for me and our family. My dad has a side of him that is extremely friendly, fun, and he is someone who loves to host. When there is a stage, he will be up there. Our home used to be filled with noise and laughter every Saturday when our relatives would gather. Papa, if you were here today, you will be drinking, singing, cheering for me while you see me and Billy walk down the aisle. I love you and I miss you. And I also want to tell you that I have found the one whom I love. And he will also love and protect me like you do. Dear ladies and gentlemen, may we please rise once more and put our hands together to welcome Billy and Yemen 